Hey everyone, today's Witchy Wonderings is going to be about the Seder Square. The Seder Square is a palindrome, so no matter which way you turn it, you can still read it. Its earliest discovery was on a tile in the ancient ruins of Pompeii. Supposedly it has Christian origins, because if you rearrange the letters like so, in the shape of a cross, it will give you the words Pater Noster, which is Latin for Our Father, which is also the first words in the Lord's Prayer, if you're familiar with that. What you've got left is the A's and the O's, which is supposedly symbolic for I am the Alpha and the Omega. Originally, the Seder Square was brought over to Appalachia by German immigrants and used in the house for a protection emblem. So, back in the day, people would draw the Seder Square on pieces of paper and feed it to their cattle to protect the cattle from witchcraft and illness. It was also painted in the home, above the doorways, and above the windows to protect the house from evil spirits and robbery. Now, back in the day, it was also said that the Seder Square had the magical ability to protect from fire. So people would then carve the Seder Square into their wood frame homes, as well as their wooden chimneys, to protect the house from being struck by lightning or catching on fire. It's said that the Seder Square can put out fire without the use of water. So if you do your research or look around in the area in Appalachia to this day, there's still some houses that are still standing that do in fact have the Seder Square carved into the wood frame of their house. Something to check out on your next adventure.